Right. All right. This map was made by two local artists here in Ransburg, California. It's 10 foot by 10 foot, and it is absolutely by scale. It took several months to produce. And uh, people really enjoy walking in, and as soon as they walk in, they take a look to the left, and they go, oh, wow. And they stand here for 10 or 15 minutes looking at the map, discussing where they've been and where they're going. And you were pointing out the, uh, the elevations of two? Yes. Up here you see Mount Whitney at 14,495 feet. And then the lowest is 282 feet below sea level. So both the highest point and the lowest point in the United States is located in California. And we're here in Randsburg, way in the eastern side of Kern County. It's a historic mining town yes. that has 50 people living here. 48. Four, oh, it used to be 70, the website said. Well, we've had a decline in population. Ha! But there are, it's 48 people currently living in town. During the summer months, or pardon me, during the high tourist season, there's been as 30,000 people coming out here to the Mojave Desert. And who's this guy here? That's Katie. Katie. Katie's a Belgian Shepherd and she's my service dog. Ha. Huh. Great dog. So you, you have an art gallery that's in a bank. Yes. This used to be the first bank of Ransford. It was open for six months and then failed. Why well, failed, I'm not really sure, but it was only open six months. So the artworks are by local artists? All the artwork in here is by local artists. Um, to my right here is Irma Ma, who is Choctaw Indian, and she does very whimsical desert scenes that are completely from her own imagination. Fun stuff. Yes, and what Irma said, in, in the early days of her producing art, she would go down to the junkyard uh. and pick up pieces of metal and wood and paint on that because she didn't have anything to paint on. I like the saws. Yeah, they're very unique. The donkey is uh, fishing. Yes, that's called fish fry. Uh-huh. In a bucket. Yes. What you're looking at there is, this is a personal collection of Irma art by a local person who happened to have drawn the map on the wall. So they're very close friends. Were there Chinese miners here too? There were Chinese working out here, but not in Brandsburg. They were working at the Kelly camp, which is in Red Mountain. Oh. And now we have other things here. Yes, the uh, Irma and uh, Terry Franson and a local gentleman who does, you know, the mine structures. It's just fun art. I see art in all kinds of things, not just paintings and photographs. Nice music. Ah, oh, thanks. That is done by a local person. Wow, you sell the CDs here? Uh, they will be on sale here tomorrow. Oh, good. I'll be back. Oh, good. The radio station, too, is very unique, too. I like their music. Pleasant, serene music and a pleasant, serene sound. Now, you've got two extremely different types of art. This side is Fred Hudson, who uses digital photography and the magic of his studio to create this art. Oh, enhancing the 
photographs with like photo he enhances the photographs with Photoshop? Uh no he does not use Photoshop. Oh. Uh, he has some proprietary software that he uses. But uh Yeah, I've seen people in Laguna Beach do enhancements too with on digital photography with with digital software. It's fantastic. It's beautiful, beautiful art. It's difficult to tell if it's a photograph or if it's a watercolor or if it's a painting. And in truth, it's all three. Yeah, I'm more interested in the object and what it conveys versus whether it's a puristic this or that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then this is a scene from Darwin, which is an old ghost town here in California. And the artist here uses a, a very unique texturing approach and he uses translucent paints. So all through the day at different shades of light it changes color and texture. Oh wow. And he did the, the six other paintings you see there. And probably what's most interesting are the Pueblos from a distance they look soft and pink and when you get up close they become vibrant reds, huh. and greens and blues. Wow. So again it's the idea of layering. Uh, oh yeah it's getting brighter red now. As, as many as 30 different layers of paint. 30 layers of paint. Old California. Yep, and that package you see there, he took a picture of it in 1972, but didn't decide to paint it until 2010. Huh. And here are the, the Pueblos. So, as I said, as you looked at it from afar, they were pale. It's very pink. But as you get closer, you notice much more detail. Oh, the greens are much more vivid, and the turquoise blue frame. Gorgeous. Well, very good this then. This is a great gift. And that's my antique doorbell. And your name, sir? Randall Smith. Randall Smith. And you own the, or you manage this? I am the owner of the Ransburg Art Gallery. There we have it. And most people just call me Boot. Ha! <laughs> boot, huh? Yeah. I always boot. think life is just a hoot. All right. Tip your hat a little bit. I like that hat. Which we want to go yeah, yeah, I want to see that. No, th yeah, that's it. Nice. 